Take off those heels, lay on my bed Whisper dirty secrets while I'm rolling on your hair Poison in our veins, but we don't even care Candles dripping on your body, baby, this ain't truth or dare Everybody wonders where we run off to My body on your body, baby Sticking like some glue. Naughty let's get naughty good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video we are doing another makeup tutorial and it's a little bit different from something that I've done just because I never really do iridescent sparkleness in my crease. I don't know. I don't know, but I told you guys I was gonna do a tutorial using deep purple and Spirit Rock from the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, self-made palette. So I told you guys I was going to be doing a look with this, those two sh shadows, and this is what I came up with. It's kind of like a black smoky eye with the purple in the crease. I don't know, I've had this envisioned for quite a while since I saw the palette. I was like, ooh, those two shades will look th good together because Spirit Rock kind of has a purple reflect in it but it doesn't really translate on the lid and that's what I hate 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 about like sparkly shades like spirit rock because they look sparkly in the pan and you're like oh it's gonna really translate to my eyes it's gonna really show up but it doesn't so that's a bit of a disappointment but deep purple is so 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 gorgeous it's so pretty so I put that in my crease and I want to do another look with it so anyways this is the look that I came up with I hope you guys enjoy it it's a little bit more dramatic it's not really wearable for a lot of people I will say but nonetheless we got another video so I love you guys and I will see you guys soon Mwah. bye Okay you guys, so like every single other video that I film, I'm starting by priming my lids and today I'm using the balms, put a lid on it, eyelid primer just to prime my lids because we're going to be going in with other eyeshadows so this is mainly to prime the crease. For the crease, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Sienna, I almost forgot, and I'm taking that on a Sigma E35 blending brush. This is one of my favorite blending brushes by Sigma because it's so fluffy and it just glides so smoothly in my crease. So I'm applying that into my upper crease as a bridge shade between the highlight color and the crease color that we're going to go in with next which is out of the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette and I'm taking in deep purple which is that iridescent kind of bluish purplish color and I'm taking that on a this is a coastal sense like kind of like an E25 I'm not sure of the exact number but I'm just pl placing deep purple right into the socket of my crease and this is a really pigmented purple so I packed on a ton because I really wanted to make sure that this deep purple pulled through the entire eye look and showed up I didn't want it to be very like um in the back background I wanted it to kind of pop in the crease so I applied quite a bit all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner and then I just went back in with my E35 blending brush just to blend sienna and deep purple together so they flowed a little bit more seamlessly so then I'm gonna go in with this NYX eyeliner pencil and this is a slide on glide on but definitely a turn on waterproof eyeliner pencil in the shade pretty violet it's exactly the same color as Deep Purple um, by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I just put this all over my lid. This is unnec an unnecessary step, but I thought it would make a difference, but it didn't really, so I just kind of continued to do it. I put this all over my lid as a base, so I went in with Spirit Rock from the Self Made Palette as well on a Sigma E55 eyelid brush. This is a really good fluffy eyelid or eyeshadow brush. Oh my god. It's great for packing on color and getting like the most pigmentation on your lid as opposed to all over your face so I packed spirit rock all over my lid and then I went in with a Sigma I want to say this is like an e38 blending brush and I just put more spirit rock on there and just started blending this into the socket of my crease so it carried up into the crease and it wasn't just sitting flat on my lid and it's just helped the blend shadows together then I went back in with that Coastal Scents blending brush with a little bit more of deep purple to help blend Spirit Rock out. And then I went in with lashes. And for lashes in this look, I used Boudoir by House of Lashes. I think that's how it's spelled. B-O-U-D... O-I-R, so I think that's boudoir, whatever. I pop them on with my la <laughs> with my fingers and then I push them into my lash band really closely because I'm not putting eyeliner on. So I put it as close to my lashes as possible. 
Moving on to the face, I use my Tarte Clean Slate Primer, Poreless Primer for the primer today. <laughs> and I just smooth that all over my skin. This is one of my favorite silicone based primers. It just makes my skin feel so smooth and makes my foundation glide on so easily. For foundation for this video, I use my Estee Lauder Devil Wear Foundation in the shade Sandalwood. This is one of my lighter foundations. It's definitely my winter color. Excuse me, this is when I actually bought the foundation last winter. Um, but I still like to use it over the summer and everything because it di I didn't get too dark. But this has amazing coverage. It is a little bit more liquidy, as I more than I would like it to be. But I just blended this out with a beauty blender. Make sure I cover all of my dark spots because I have them around the outer perimeter of my face, which I don't really like. So we're going to just, you know, hide those away. And then I'm going to also... Also, I'm going to also highlight and conceal with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. Hitting underneath of my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's belt, and my chin, and the center of my forehead, just to bring those features forward a little bit more. If you feel this is a little too extreme, you can of course just highlight underneath of your nose, but I recommend you to balance out your highlight by either hitting your nose or hitting your chin, just to balance it out so it's not just super heavy underneath of the eyes. So, just go ahead and blend that all out, and I'm using that with a damp beauty blender. Um... Yeah, you want to use it wet. And then I'm going to go in and set that concealer right away so it doesn't crease on me with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. As you can see, I forgot to like do a, a clip with that. But I'm just baking with this because I want this look to be super extreme and super bright. So I let this sit on my face for literally five minutes. I like literally took out five minutes of this clip <laughs> of me just sitting there. And then I just brushed it all of the excess powder away with a flat top kabuki brush from Coastal Scents. So then I went in and started contouring slash bronzing and I used a powder brush from BH Cosmetics to do this. I don't know, I've just been liking using a powder brush as opposed to a contouring brush. But I used my Nikki Garrett contouring palette, which you guys already know, duh. And I just hit the perimeters of my face and then... I also did my nose and I zoomed this in just so you guys can see it a little bit better. I know some of you guys have been asking about how I contour my nose and in this specific video I liked how I contoured my nose a little bit more than I did in any other video. So I just do the sides of my nose um, right where my concealer ends and then around off the tip just to make it look more like a button nose. And then I go in and put blush on and I use NYX's Mocha Blush or I think it's Pinched. I think it's mo Mocha. Mocha with a no name kind of blush brush from Walmart and then I go in and highlight my life away like literally I put so much highlight on like you can see it in the intro yeah I put a lot on but y'all know I like to highlight so I use Colourpop's Wisp with a BH Cosmetics large fan brush this is my favorite way that I found to apply this kind of cream highlight like blush or you can use your fingers oh my god I need to quit yawning <laughs> I go back in with NYX's um, Slide On Glide On Pencil in Pretty Violet and put that right back into the waterline just because I want that kind of iridescent purple peeking through the lower lash line a little bit more. And then I just go back in <clears throat> also with Spirit Rock from the same palette on the end of an Anastasia Beverly Hills like kind of pencil brush and just smoke out that lower lash line. Not too much, but I just put it on enough just to define those lower lashes a little bit. And then I go in with Treasure, I believe, from the artist, or I'm sorry, the self-made palette. And I put, no, no, it's blush. I started off with Treasure, but I didn't like it. So I went in with blush, or I started off with deep purple, and then I went in with blush. Blush is kind of that iridescent color, so it kind of, looks like an iridescent purple in the inner corner and then for lips I went in with max super supreme lip cream in the shade impressive this is one of my favorite 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 lipsticks it's just that kind of glossy pink color that doesn't look like ashy on a woman of colors lips and then I went in with NYX's fortune cookie or is a sugar cookie fortune cookie and I put that right in the middle just to kind of lighten it up a little bit so it looks more like a pinky nude and after that that pretty much completes my look you guys so I know a lot of you guys loved this look in my um, get to know me tag and also my Instagram so I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial loved the look and loved how it came out and I will talk to you guys very soon in another one Mwah. bye